Hey guys, it's Heather here, and today I am bringing you the war recap between Golden Gators and Green Goats. That's right, we had a civil war in the kingdom. It was GG versus GG in the first ever kingdom battle, and Green Goats brought it home. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be asking, wait, how can you get matched up against a clan you want to fight? Well, it's pretty simple. You both just start your war search at the same time, have the same number of clan mates going to war, and those clan mates should be roughly the same levels as the other side. So like the same number of Town Hall 9s, 8s, 7s, whatever. Um, these guys didn't have that. Green Goats was a little bit more top heavy than the Golden Gators were, and that may have played a little bit in their favor. I'm not gonna make a judgment call on that, but just saying, if you can have it be equal town halls, that will make for an even better matchup. And once you start that war search, you should be matched up relatively quickly. If you're not getting matched up, then you may have a little bit of imbalance going on and that you're not close enough to actually go to war with each other. But these guys searched for seven minutes and that's when they got matched up. So like I said, Green Goats brought it home. It was 68-63. And I'm gonna show you some of the best attacks from this war. So let's get right into it. And the first attack I'm going to show you is number seven war from Golden Gators going up against number eight B Mac in Green Goats. And he is going to be bringing it with a hog attack. So he starts his attack by sending a giant in to pull the clan castle. And just in time, pulls that dragon out of the clan castle before the giant dies, drags that over to the west side, and drags it some more. And one more archer, get him out, another inch, and another one. There we go. Hey, yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna circle around with the archers, take that dragon and wizard out. Some of those wizards are just like, ah, whatever. We think we can face a cannon. No problem, you guys take care of the dragon. We'll just sit here and die. And then he sends a scout in from the north, followed by a second scout and launches the two-finger hog in from the north against the wizard tower. And they head in, he drops a double heal spell, overlapping just slightly, finds the first giant bomb, and then finds the other giant bomb. That's right, his hogs just hit a double giant and managed to survive. He still has a massive amount of hogs left, even though they just went up against a double giant bomb. So doesn't seem to be a problem, drops his third heal spell. Just as those two groups of hogs wrap around, find themselves another giant bomb. But these hogs are at near max health. All they gotta do is take out that cannon in the south, turn back on that barbarian king, and game over. Chases that barbarian king back, hits him in the back, and we just got clean on. So super sweet hog attack. The devil giant bomb placement probably wasn't too great that they were able to trigger that while taking down the first defense. You wanna have the double giant bombs be vertical, but between those two defenses that they're going to run across it as they move from one to the other, not that they can trigger it as they're attacking the first defense. But even still, pretty dang sweet that he was able to take that out. It's just perfect execution to have the hogs Two groups of hogs wrap their way around the base and meet together in the south for that final hill. So nice attack, war from Golden Gators. All right, so up to bat next is my man, Turtle Man from Golden Gators taking on Reister, and he is going to be going in with a go wee low. That's right, he's still a new Town Hall 9, just barely got his witches, but he does have those level six loons, still just the level two golems from Town Hall 8. So he's just a baby Town Hall 9 taking on this Town Hall 9. And he's going to show how, yes, you Town Hall 9s, you definitely should be three starring. So he's got his golems in there, followed by his wizards, and they're heading in, and then he drops his witches in a pack, just like they should be. Remember, spread your wizards, pack your witches and drops his heroes, they head in from the south, working their way up, got the clan castle pole, we got another dragon that comes out, drops his jump spell, everybody heading in, the wizards are gonna be able to take out that dragon in no time, it's down, drops his heal spell, 
He's got everybody jumping into the center. Barbarian King on the Town Hall. Town Hall is down. Still has a massive amount of troops left. And then he starts the low of this attack. And what is going on, folks? This is not how we low. No, no, no balloons. That is not how you're supposed to enter this base. But all right, we'll do it. All the balloons together at once. Taking down one defense at a time. Oh, good, they split. So this is... This is where it's really awesome on this base to have these balloons because your air defense is so compact in the center and you have all these defenses that are spread out around the outside that you can just pick out these defenses with just dropping one balloon at a time on each defense. But he has these balloons that are circling around in packs, which ends up working out okay because he still has a massive amount of troops alive. His archer queen's at full health and there goes the last defense and now it's just cleanup. So these balloons are just gonna be taking out these gold storages and basically one hit. And we have plenty of time left and everything's just going to swing around the base and do cleanup. So great attack from Turtle. Just remember next time, don't drop all your balloons in one place and allow them to get all bunched up on you so that a wizard tower can just pound on them. You just want to drop one loon at a time per defense. And you want to drop them when those defenses are distracted on other troops so that they can just get a free hit in there. If you can't, then you might need to drop two balloons instead of one per defense. All right, so let's move on to the third attack I want to show you. This is Blub in Green Goats, and he is going to be doing a Town Hall 8 Go Wipe, but he is bringing 15 level 5 loons as well. Now look at the base, how compact and centralized those air defenses are, and you got defenses that are spread out around the perimeter. This is perfect for picking off those defenses with the loons while they're distracted by your go wipe. As they go in, he's got his wall breakers coming in from two directions, get a bust open two openings, followed by more wizards, and then he's got witches in the clan castle, followed by his barbarian king. And as they head in, we have a dragon that comes out that's gonna be hanging on one of those golems, and the wizards are gonna fall behind and take that dragon down. Get all his troops into the center, start digging out that core, getting on the town hall, taking down those air defenses. Now this is where it changes it up. This is where you get it done and you turn that go wipe into a three star attack. Here come the balloons heading in and just taking down all those perimeter buildings as they're focused on the troops that are in the core. They don't even know what's hitting them from behind. Just all these balloons are going to come in and wipe out all those defenses that normally would stop your go wipe from going any further. So those balloons have taken everything down. He still has four wall breakers, three balloons left, and his witches are alive. He's got wizards alive. He's got tons of troops that are just doing all the cleanup around the base. He can even just use his balloons now to go ahead and take care of some of these buildings. So he sends in some his few wall breakers to help create those paths so his troops can get through even faster. But time's not even going to be an issue on this. Just completely wiped out this base and cleaned it up with his loons. Awesome attack, awesome strategy. And this is what you guys need to be looking at, those of you who are really focused on your go wipe. Once you learn how to go wipe, you need to learn how to go flush. Because it's just, it's just not done until you flush. Until you flush it and you make it a three-star attack, this is what needs to happen. You need to bring something else along with your go wipe. Either it needs to be a go low or a go ho. It needs to go somewhere besides a two-star attack. And this is just one of the ways on how you can do it. Wrap that up. Really awesome three-star from Blub. All right, so one more attack I want to show you. It's number 25 Moses versus number 25 Brillo Dog. And these attacks are so much fun. We've got Town Hall 6 versus Town Hall 6. And he's going to be going in with 18 archers, 3 level 2 wizards, and 17 level 2 loons with level 6 balloons in the clan castle. So he goes ahead and pulls the clan castle out using one of those super cute level 2 balloons. And usually this is the most difficult part of taking on one of these low bases is taking care of those clan castle troops. So he pulls them out, surrounds them with archers, follows behind with his two wizards, just trying to get these troops down that can just one hit everything. He's got two wizards alive, only five archers left, and that is good enough 
able to get the clan castle taken care of, so he's gonna go ahead and send in those super cute level two balloons against the archer tower and the air defense and get those taken care of. Drops a heal on them. Make sure that they last long enough to get that air defense down. And once that air defense is down, he can go ahead and send in his level six balloons that can take down the entire base on their own. So it goes ahead and drops another heal spell on those level two balloons, heals them right back up again. And now it's just balloon parade as they go around the base, taking it all down. So you guys, you low level guys, remember your balloons. I see so many try and do the giant healer approach on these bases. Your balloons are pretty awesome. If you know how to use them, send them in just this way. Take level six balloons in your clan castle and you can completely annihilate that base. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing my videos with your clan mates and your friends. Super cool to see all the new subscribers. Remember to follow me on Twitter if you wanna get more updates in between videos and see some of the crazy stuff going on in our clans. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, come and join me on Bindle. Download the Bindle app and join me on hashtag Clash Tutor. And you can ask me and the other subs in that room how to take on those bases that you're struggling with. And I will catch you next time.